Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, and a ton of comparisons on the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you'll consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you wanna see all the details about this new highlighter by our darling Charlotte, then just keep on watching. Darling, Charlotte Tilbury, she, well, you know, like it's, it's the season that we're going to start seeing a lot of holiday releases. I'm not sure if this is a holiday release or not. It seems like it's going to be permanent in the line and I'll explain you why in a second. But all of a sudden we saw on Sephora appear in something that, what? We haven't seen any sneak peeks. I'm talking about the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter by Charlotte Tilbury. It costs $55. It comes with 11.5 grams of product, which is quite a bit. And this is a face and body highlighter. It's also made in Italy and it has a shelf life of 30 months. So I already have my makeup on. I'm gonna go ahead and do a try on demo right here for you. And then we're gonna go into comparisons and all the details. So let me just show to you the Unicard. I think this Unicard is really pretty, beautiful. It looks a lot like the Bejewel instant eye in a palette the eyeshadow palette that she just came out with i did a review on that one so if you have missed it you go ahead and check it out after you check out from this video but yes this is it so really nice and big so let me show to you how it looks on the inside so it's silver there you go nice and big now this silver component is not I mean, it's not like you're not gonna have your fingerprints all over the place because it's made out of a very kind of like opaque type of silver material. I don't know if I like it that much. To be honest with you, I feel like it's lacking of that luxurious vibe that we, you know, have to know Charlotte Tilbury for. But I, I know, I understand that she wanted to do something different but I wish even perhaps if it was a little bit more of a shiny silver, maybe, maybe. You know that I'm not very fun. I'm actually using today the palette that I just mentioned, the Bejeweled palette. I didn't like it that much. I mean, I like the formula. It's actually her new formula. The formula is exquisite. I have it on today. I just don't like the silver packaging, not because it's silver. It's just, I don't know, the material doesn't look as luxe. Okay, friends, stop rumbling right here and let me just show it to you from the inside. So here you go, you have a big, nice size mirror right here. Now this is not a baked gelée formula. This looks like a typical powder formula. Now the rim right here is nice and that beautiful gold tone that we usually see from Charlotte with a little star, her name right here. I mean, overall looks very pretty. But why I was saying that I don't think this is gonna be limited edition, that I think that perhaps we're gonna see an extension on this line is because this right here, there's a hole that you can poke the pan out. That being said, it's very alike to actually the bronzer. So here I do have the bronzer. As you can tell, this here right here, like, I mean, this is not super opaque, but in person it looks more opaque than the bronzer. Now, do you see what I'm saying about the poking hole? And you can actually get now the refills of the bronzers at Charlotte Tilbury's website and at Sephora too. So this gives me high hopes about it. And it looks, same thing, kind of like a shell. I mean, like, it, it's, it's overall pretty. Okay, my friends. So the shade. The shade in person, in the pan, it looks a little bit more in the pink cooler tone, but as I flip it, it has a little bit of peach in it. So let's just give it a swatch and see how it looks. Okay, it does have a little bit of gold in it. It look in the pan like a little bit more cool tone, but then when it's swatch, it looks like a regular type of golden tone. It doesn't even look as 
pink as it looks when you actually see the highlighter. Okay friends, so let's go for my favorite brush. This is Refer number 20, it's a fun brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little. Oh yes, you don't need a lot. It's, this shade is so interesting. It's in the golden tone. It is golden and it's not, it's not as cool as I thought it will be. This is the thing with Charlotte Tilbury. She knows how to do powders like no other. I mean, I'm telling you, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Is this super, super beaming? Not. I mean, the powder melt on my skin like nothing. I mean, like, I'm sure I can build it up, but I don't need to build up a highlighter, right? Okay, let's go on the other side. Now, just as any highlighter, if you have texture, it's gonna just, you know, make it show a little bit more. Does it extra emphasize it in the way that, okay, it adds texture? No, this doesn't add texture because like I said, it's like melting into the skin so beautifully. Okay, I need a little bit of highlighter right here on my inner corner. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm using Sonia G Flat Definer. By the way, today when I'm filming this, Sonia G has come out with her new smooth buffer brush from the Skyline. Have you picked it up? I picked up mine. I'm really curious to see what it's all about because I miss on the other brush, I think it's called the face one, is that right? I don't remember right now, but it's this, it looks like the same, but it's larger, it's bigger. And when I saw this one, I'm like, okay. I like in general smaller brushes just because I love more precision brushes. And by the way, if you haven't checked, I did a video in collaboration with Mel Thompson and Kelsey Brianna J where we share our favorite brushes. So if you haven't watched that, I will suggest you to go ahead and watch that too. Yeah, so I'm excited to receive that brush. Okay, it looks beautiful. This highlighter is stunning. It's stunning. I think it will work well for I have a light to medium skin tone. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. On the description box below, I'm leaving all my foundation matches, so that way you can, it can serve you as a reference, but I think this will work really good. I mean, my light to medium skin tone, fine. I will say it will work for light skin tone. For fair, I say it may work because it's so subtle. I mean, it just melt, like I said, it melts into the skin so beautifully. I say it may work. Now for tan, medium tan skin tones, still I see it working really fine. Tan to deep too. Now the deepest, deepest, like very rich complexion. Such a beautiful highlighter. It may work too. It may work too. I mean, we'll have to see. I hope that she comes out with more shades, you know, and just have different, I mean, just a variation. That would be awesome. And I think this is very promising. Having these right here is super promising. You know what? Here I have this Hourglass New Sculpture Confession Lipstick. I think I can poke it out. Yes, you can poke it out. I mean, I don't want to mess it up, but yes, you can definitely poke it out right there is promising and before we jump into comparisons i just want to give you as a reference some pricing right here so this comes with 11.5 grams of product which is about five dollars a gram again it costs 55 dollars the first product that i want to compare it to is this baby from dose of colors and i love sarai now this one it was supposed to be limited edition but i can I still find it at Ulta? It was $20 to begin with, but right now Ulta is $9.80. So that makes it that, okay, if you buy it at regular price, it will be $1.66 per gram. If you buy it right now, that is, like I said, on sale is 0.81 cents. Okay, let's go ahead and give some swatches. So when I was just looking at it right on the pan that I wasn't like, actually applying it on me honestly it remind me a lot to these dose of colors and i love sarai bathe highlighter you see that it looks kind of like pinky tones so i thought are these dupes 
I mean, I think the one from I Love Sarai and those of colors is just a little bit darker, but now that I have tried it on my face, I doubt that they are the same. I will have to see. Okay, so as per usual, when I do my comparisons, first on the top, I will go with, in this case, Charlotte Tilbury, and then at the bottom with whatever I'm comparing it with. Okay, so let's go first with this baby. Yes, Charlotte Tilbury has a golden base. Yeah, definitely the one base has a lot more pink in it. And honestly, how deceiving this was <laughs> because even, you know, like, like I said, believe me, like even in the promo pictures, it looks like it's more pink, but no, it definitely has more than gold, it's a champagne shade. Now let's compare it with the Magic Star Highlighter. This was the limited edition from last year, but like I said, sometimes you're able to find it at her own website or at other retailers. If I find it, I will put it in the description box below for your convenience. Definitely Magic Star is a lot more of a true yellow gold. The new one leans a lot more champagne. And also it's another type of formula. The one from last year is a beige chalet formula. The new one is a powder formula, but it's very buttery creamy. Now a popular one right now is Cookie by Benefit, and I have it on this palette right here. If you were to buy it solo, single is $30. It comes with eight grams of product, so it's a little bit more than this, obviously. It comes in the little box. That makes it $3.75 per gram. So it's still less expensive. Okay, definitely Cookie is a lot more beaming that highlighter that is like boom on your face type of thing. Now let's go with NARS. And um, for NARS, it actually surprised me because if you buy a NARS highlighter, like just one compact, you know, full of highlighter is $38, but it comes with 13.9 grams of product, which makes it only $2.73 per gram. I was like, what? I I mean like, I recognize NARS as more of like that high-end brand, not luxury, but high-end. So I was like, wow, this is, actually NARS is a lot less expensive than a lot of, I mean like, you will see right now as I go through the comparisons. Okay, so I do have right here this Orgasm X palette and this highlighter here has taken us by big surprise. I'm gonna compare it to that one. It looks completely different from in the palette, but we will see right now. And it's important to know that this highlighter is only available on this palette right here. So the one from NARS is a lot more golden. It's again right here in my middle finger. And Charlotte Tilbury and then NARS. So there's two classic ones by Becca. I do not have them on the single pan, but I have them on this Jaclyn Hill palette that is a little bit like almost falling apart. <laughs> oh, it fell apart. So I really need to repress it because I, it just fell apart. So here's Champagne Pop, Charlotte Tilbury, Prosecco Pop. Charlotte Tilbury against all these other highlighters that they are golden champagne tone, that's when you get to see that pink that I was telling you. And then as far as Becca highlighters goes, they cost $38. They come with seven grams of product, which makes it about $5.25 per gram. So very close on the Charlotte Tilbury one. Another classic one is Ofra Cosmetics. So I have the one right here from Samantha March, which is March Beauty Word. And this right here is a combination of two highlighters. Also I have right here Rodale Drive. So let's just put it side by side. So I think I wanna do the same thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for Rodale Drive first. 
Now I'm going with my ring finger and I don't remember the name of this lighter shade right here because these are two different ones but I will put it on the screen. And then on my middle finger I will go with the one from Charlotte Tilbury. Sorry, that swatch right there. <laughs> now, some people had asked me to compare it with Natasha Denona too. So I have one of her Big Pan palettes right here. This one is Super Glow. This comes with 10 grams of product, costs $38. Oh yeah, and this one is in the shade 01 Fair. So let's go back, index. Natasha Denona is a lot more shiny, what is gonna be more glowy, more like, it's gonna give that wet looking effect. The one from Natasha Denona, you can see it right there. Now I do have this instant look in a palette in Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. And then I also have the one in Stone Rose Beauty. So these face palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, they do come with a highlighter. So I'm gonna go middle with a super glow. And then here I have, this is from Glowing Beauty, the one that comes in this packaging. As far as formula goes, I will say they are alike to this one, but the new one actually feels more buttery, like more creamy. And then on my ring finger, I'm gonna go with this one, which is from the Stone Rose Beauty palette. Glowing Beauty. Superstar Glow, Stone Rose. Still seems like the new one has that little bit of pink showing through more than the other ones. And I do have this Glow Gossam face palette in Love Gossam. So let's just go for this one. Let me just put it right here. I'm running out of room. There you go. This middle one is the new one. These ones right here, also Natasha Denona. So I'm gonna compare it right now. Top these. Then I'm gonna go with Bloom from Natasha. From these one right here, all of them are so dark. I mean like, let me just put this one right here because I I'm sure, I mean like this is a lot darker. And then this one right here was really, really popular and this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Okay, kind of alike. I will say this one right here has a little bit more yellow in it. Top Charlotte. Now another face and body highlighter that really has taken me by surprise is not only gorgeous, but you also receive a huge amount of product from what I consider not luxury brand, but high-end brand. And that is also the same price as this one right here, is the new one from Huda Beauty. This is called the Nymph All Over Highlighting Powder. I did a dedicated review on this one. It's just stunning, gorgeous. And if you were to divide the gram sticks discounts with 30 grams of product, it will come to be about $2.83 per gram. This comes with 11.5 grams of product, so less than half of these. So let me just show them to you side by side. Now, the one from Huda Beauty is limited edition. As of right now, it's only been sold at Huda Beauty's website. It hasn't come to Sephora and it has already passed over, I will say, a month, a solid month, and it hasn't come. So, I don't know if it's gonna ever gonna come to Sephora. Hopefully it will, because this is gorgeous. And the price, they are both made in Italy. The main difference perhaps will be that this has a shelf life of 18 months, while this one has a shelf life of 30 months. And obviously let's see the shade, right? Huda looks a little bit more on the metallic side, but it doesn't go metallic on the skin. It really gives a wet look to the skin. It's just gorgeous. I have been in love with it. Okay, so we have here Charlotte and then Huda. Yeah, Huda has a little bit more yellow in it, right? More gold. Let's compare it with some Shantikai. Here I have the Cloud Brilliant Face Powder. This came out on the holiday season of 2019. These are a duo set of blush and highlighter.
Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit brighter, but if you were to see it in person, it has that same kind of undertone. Here's the well duo. And after all these swatches, my friends, I think I'm ready to give you at least my final thoughts upon first impressions of this new highlighter by Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's lovely, it's gorgeous. It's not your typical beaming highlighter, which I think, I mean, I personally like those type of highlighters because in every day, if I'm not going out for, you know, like a dinner time or a date with my husband, I don't need something like it's like, too much on me, you know what I mean? So I like something that is more subtle, that I can build that, you know, that I can build the intensity as however I want to, and I think this will give it to you. I think the shade, like I said, looking at, like even right here on the screen, it looks, I think you can see it, it looks kind of like pinkish, and in person it even looks cooler in tone, and then the camera looks a little bit warmer in tone. So that means that this highlighter has a lot of dimension, which I feel like it makes it very versatile. Obviously I only have one skin tone, but because of the dimension that this highlighter has, the different pigments, the different kind of like, um, just the tonality of it. I feel like this will work really well for various different skin tones. Obviously, we will have to keep our eyes, you know, look after those amazing creators and there's so many that, by the way, if you go to the home page of my YouTube channel, I have put a lot of different channels that I will highly recommend that you go and check them out and some of them, they have obviously different skin tones than mine. So, I mean, hopefully that starts right there, but I will say this is a A++ plus plus for me. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I was thinking that I was not gonna like that formula because in the pan it looks very kind of granular. I'm like, I don't think that's the type of formula for me. But honestly, no, we went, like, like I said, even by touching it, it feels like butter, super creamy, gorgeous, beautiful. Tone in there is amazing and again, I just have so much hopes that because of this pink hole right here that she's gonna come out with different highlighter shades. That's gonna be amazing. Hopefully she does so. As far as the compact goes, it's nothing, I mean like what is important is what is inside, right? It's not the, it's not the compact. And then if you're saying, well, you can swap this right here for this one, perhaps, I don't know. By the way, and if you're wondering about the bronzer, this comes with 16 grams of product. So the bronzer comes with more product than the highlighter, which I mean, who uses so much highlighter, right? This is huge amount, but again, this is also for the body. So considering that, and then the pan size, as you can see is, yeah, well, it seems like a little bit larger. I mean, I'm gonna try to see if I can swap it and maybe that way I can have my beautiful golden <laughs> packaging. I don't know. I don't know, that, that's just me. And another thing too is these have the beautiful embossing. This one, the bronzers, they don't have the embossing. I mean, what at the end, what is important is the product. I will say 100% total yes, approved by me. Absolutely love it. Super happy with my purchase. And now I wanna know from you, are you excited for this highlighter? Are you looking forward to perhaps get it through the holidays? What are your thoughts or you have already picked that up? Let's just start the conversation down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I think you're waiting too long. Just go ahead, give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Ring that post notification bell because believe me, you don't wanna miss any of my uploads here. I keep you updated on all the new makeup releases releases, hauls, first impressions, I mean, you name it, and much more. So I would love for you to become part of my family. And talking about family, let's grow my family on Instagram. Come and follow me there. Help me out to, you know, get to that 10K. It's it's a hard, a hard thing to do, but I, right there, I also keep you posted. I also take images of the products that I'm reviewing. I mean, there is so much right there, and I will greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.